Where is the king? The king himself is rode to view the battle. Of fighting men they have full three score thousand. There's five to one. Besides, they all are fresh. God's arm strike with us, it's a fearful odds. God be with you, princes all, and well to my charge. If we no more meet till we meet in heaven, then joyfully my noble lord Bedford, my dear lord Gloucester, my good lord Exeter, my, and my kind kinsmen, the warriors all, adieu. Farewell, good Salisbury, and good luck go with thee. Farewell, kind lord. Fight valiantly today, and yet I do thee wrong to mind thee of it, for thou art framed of the firm truth of valor. He is full of valor as of kindness, princely in both. Oh, that we now had here but one ten thousand of those men in England that do no work today. What's he that wishes so? My cousin Westmoreland? No, my fair cousin. If we are marked to die, we are now, to do our country loss. And if to live, the fewer men, the greatest share of honor. God's will, I pray thee, wish not one man more. By Jove, I'm not covetous for gold, nor care I who doth feed upon my cost. It yearns me not if men my garments wear, such outward things dwell not in my desires. But if it be a sin to covet honor, I am the most offending soul alive. No faith my cause, wish not a man from England. God's peace I would not lose so great an honor as one man more, methinks, would share for me the best hope I have. Oh, do not wish one more. Rather, proclaim it, Westmoreland, throughout my host, that he which hath no stomach to this fight, let him depart. His passport shall be made, and crowns for convoy put into his purse. We would not die in that man's company, that fears his fellowship to die with us. Today is called the Feast of Crispin. He that outlives this day and comes safe home will stand tiptoe when this day is named, and rouse him at the name of Crispin. He that shall live this day and see old age, will yearly on this vigil feast his neighbors and say, Tomorrow is St. Crispin's. Then he will strip his sleeves and show his scars and say, These wounds I had on Crispin's day. Old men forget, it all shall be forgot. But he will remember with advantages what feats he did that day. Then shall our names, familiar in his mouth as household words, Harry the King, Bedford, Exeter, Warwick and Talbot, Salisbury and Gloucester, be in their flowing cups freshly remembered. This story shall the good man teach his son, and Crispin, Crispin shall near go by from this day to the ending of the world. But ween it shall be remembered. We few, we happy few, we band of brothers, for he today that sheds his blood with me shall be my brother. Be he near so vile, this day shall gentle his condition, and gentlemen in England now abed shall think themselves accursed that they were not here, and hold their manhoods cheap, whilst well, any speaks that fought with us upon St. Crispin's Day. My sovereign lord, bestow yourself with speed. The French are bravely in their battles set and will with all expedience charge on us. All things are ready if our minds be so. Perish the man whose mind is backward now. Thou dost not wish more help from England, cuz? God's will, my liege, would you and I alone, without more help, could fight this royal battle. Why now thou hast unfinished five thousand men, which likes me better than to wish us one. You know your places. God be with you all. What's more I come to know thee, King Harry, if for thy ransom thou wilt now compound, before thy most assured overthrow, for thou art so near the gulf thou needs must be glutted. Besides, in mercy, the constable desires thee that would mind. Thy followers of repentance, that their souls may make a peaceful and sweet retire from off these fields where the wretches, their poor bodies, must now lie and fester. Who hath sent thee now? The constable of France. I pray thee, bear my former answer back. Bid them achieve me and then sell my bones. Good God, why should they mock poor fellows thus? The man that once did sell the lion's skin while the beasts live was killed with hunting him, and many of our bodies shall no doubt find native graves, upon the which I trust shall witness live and brass of this day's work. And those that leave their valiant bones in France, dying like men though buried in your dung hills, they shall be famed, for there the sun shall greet them and draw their honors reeking up to heaven. 
leaving the earthly parts to choke your climb. The smell where a forest should breed and plague in France. Mark then a bounding valor in our English, that being dead like the bullets grazing break out into the second course of mischief, killing and relapse of mortality. Let me speak proudly. Tell the constable we are but warriors for the working day. Our gayness and our guilt are all beshermed with rainy marching in the painful field. There's not a piece of feather in our host. Good argument, I hope we will not fly. The time hath worn us into slavery. But by the mass, our hearts are in the trim. And my poor soldiers tell me yet ere night there shall be fresher robes where they will pluck the gay new coats over the French soldiers' heads and turn them out of service. They do this, as, if God please they shall, my ransom then will soon be levied. Herald, save thou labor, come thou no more for ransom, gentle Herald. They shall have none, I swear, but these my joints, which if they have as I will leave them, they shall yield them little. Tell the constable. I shall, King Harry, and so fare thee well. Thou shalt never fear a herald any more. I fear thou once more come again for ransom. My lord, most humbly on my knee I beg the leading of the Vayward. Take it, brave York. Now soldiers, march away, and how thou pleasest God, dispose the day.